Assignment time. So what would be an assignment that would best represent what we've been doing so far as far as importing models and building this little script? Well, a portfolio, of course, right? All teachers love portfolios. So we're going to make a portfolio based upon the actions that we do here in the class. And this class is Gaming Fundamentals. So in Gaming Fundamentals, what we're going to be doing is importing a lot of things into Unity. We're going to be showing textures. We're going to be showing game logic. And at the end of the class, what I want is a, a thing that looks exactly like something like this. So I want to be able to see all the different buttons down here that lead to different models and I want to be able to you know have that available to me and what happens here is well one I got this squashed up so let me go back to a different layout there we go okay so this thing right here is a nice concept. When I put it out on the internet like this, let me show you this next little thing. When I place it here on the internet at the end of the class, at least it shows what you did in the class. You can show people what you did in the class and that's the idea of a good portfolio. So here, you know, this would best represent my modeling capabilities. Okay, that's not really what the class is all about, but I would say having a model in-game all textured, that would definitely be a doable standard that you have to fulfill, okay? So, a model in-game textured. Okay, so this one would be something that would be beside the fact that one is a good example of the same thing. Next, you know, what different textures are corresponding to the engine? That would be a nice one. Normal mapped versus 24K poly. That's a good example to show in engine. But here's one right here. So this would be something as an animation example. So we just went through how to do this. And it's interesting. What it needs, though, is something down here to best explain what I was trying to convey. And what I'm trying to convey is controls via keyboard example. Okay, not animation example. Also, I would probably want to put the controls out here to kind of show what exactly is needed to run this little thing. So that's what your assignment is. Your assignment is to start this process. I want you to build this interface. Okay. Your first model, okay, it might not necessarily be this model because we haven't gone through this whole process yet. And if you have, that's good. But I'm not I'm not wanting something like so so detailed as a wolf and hunter. I'd be happy with a crate with a texture on it, okay? A wooden crate or something like that and to that effect. But you should probably have two now. You should probably have this one and you should probably have this one. So, start building the interface, start getting your objects in, and then we'll start building it up as we go. And by the end of the class, we should have a very nice little thing that we can represent on the internet, okay? All right, so have a good one, and that's your assignment. Enjoy.